In this problem, we are asked to solve a quadratic equation by graphing it, which means we need to look for the x-intercepts. We will also be using the table feature to find or confirm our solutions using the table. First, I'm going to graph this function on a standard window, and I see that there are two x-intercepts, which means there are two real solutions. One looks to be a positive 2, and the other one looks to be somewhere around a negative, somewhere between a negative 1 and a negative 2, but closer to negative 2. So, if I'm asked to solve a quadratic equation, the first thing I'm going to do is graph it and look for the x-intercepts. And then, I'm going to go to my table, and I'm going to look to see when is the output equal to 0. I see that one value is when x equals 2, the output is 0. So this tells me I have an x-intercept at x equals positive 2. And I know there's another solution somewhere between negative 1 and negative 2. And I can confirm this by looking at my outputs. When x is a negative 1, my y is a negative 6. How do I go from a negative 6 to a positive 4. That must mean that I crossed 0 in here somewhere. So somewhere between a negative 1 and a negative 2, my output will be 0. That's the only way I can go from a negative to a positive output value. The question is, what is the value of the solution, or the x-intercept? Let's go back and look at the graph. To find the solution, I'm going to go second, calc, and I want to actually find the 0. So I'm going to select number 2. The calculator asks me for the left bound. That means I have to get to the left of my x-intercept. So I move over using my left arrow button, and I'm going to press Enter. You'll notice that there's a little arrow up on top here that marks my left bound. Now I'm asked for the right bound, so I use my right arrow and get just to the right of my x-intercept. Press Enter, and notice I have this little boundary area up here, which means my x-intercept is somewhere in here. I can press Enter when it says to guess, and it comes back and says that my 0 is when x equals a negative 1.666. So my two solutions, x equals positive 2, or x equals a negative 1.66.